Differential equations are also employed when checking changes of temperature between a particle with respect to the temperature of its medium. Learn the principle behind Newton's law of cooling here in Engineering Math 5. Similar with the concept of specific heat used in physics experiments, Newtonian law of cooling states that the rate of cooling or heating of a certain particle is proportional to the difference of its temperature with the medium. If we denote capital T for temperature of the body and T sub m for the temperature of the medium, mathematically the concept can be written as the derivative of the temperature T with respect to time T is proportional to the quantity of T less T sub m. From the proportionality, we add a constant to equate the two terms, and since they create a variable separable equation, collect similar terms such as temperature to arrive at dt all over t less t sub m is equal to k times dt. Now integrate the whole function, where the left terms will be taken as the natural logarithm of t less t sub m, and the right term will simply be k times t plus c. Exponentialize the whole equation to eliminate the natural logarithm and apply the rules of exponents yielding t minus t sub m is equal to c times e raised to kt. We can isolate t and have t sub m plus c times e raised to kt. Note as well to use positive k when the temperature of the body rises and negative k when it cools. Example number one. A substance currently at 30 degrees Celsius is refrigerated at a temperature of negative 10 degrees. After 20 minutes, it became 15 degrees Celsius. When will it be 5 degrees? Let's list down all the given starting with the initial values where the temperature of the substance is 30 degrees Celsius and the medium as negative 10 degrees. It is also said that after 20 minutes, the temperature of the substance went down to 15 degrees Celsius. And the problem wants to determine the time it takes for the substance to have 5 degrees. With the working equation of T is equal to T sub M plus C times E raised to K times T, let's identify the values of the parameters C and K. So initially, the temperature is 30 degrees, and this is equated to the temperature of the medium, which is negative 10 degrees plus C times E raised to negative K times 0 as the start of time, making the whole exponent as 0, and any number raised to 0 is just 1. So we were able to determine C as 30 plus 10 degrees or 40 degrees. So the modified equation is now T is equal to T sub M plus 40 degrees times E raised to K times T. Another scenario is at 20 minutes, where the temperature became 15 degrees. Plug these values into the equation to have 15 degrees is equal to negative 10 plus 40 degrees times E raised to negative K times 20. Simplify the equation by moving negative 10 to the opposite side of the equation, so we have 25 degrees is equal to 40 degrees times E raised to negative 20 K. Then simplify further by dividing the function by 40 degrees to have 0 0.625 is equal to e raised to negative 20k. To eliminate the exponent e, multiply the whole equation by ln, so e and ln will eventually cancel out, and we get the natural logarithm of 0 0.625 is equal to negative 20k. Then again, divide the whole thing by negative 20 to have the value of k as 0 0.0235002. At this point, it is better to keep a long list of decimals for k as it is an exponent and a little rounding off can matter a lot in the answer. The modified equation is now taken as t is equal to negative 10 degrees plus 40 degrees times e raised to negative 0 0.0235002 times t. 
finally, the time it takes for the temperature of the particle to reach 5 degrees Celsius. With the modified equation, plug in 5 degrees at T and start simplifying the equation by collecting all constants to make 15 degrees is equal to 40 degrees times E raised to negative 0.0235002 T. Divide the whole equation by 40 degrees and the result would be multiplied by ln to eliminate E. So the resulting equation becomes ln of 0 0.375 is equal to negative 0 0.0235002 T, where dividing the left term with the value of K will give the value of T as 41.74 in terms of minutes. Example number two. A thermometer reading 18 degrees Fahrenheit is brought into a room where the temperature is 70 degrees. A minute later, the thermometer reading is 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the temperature reading as a function of time, and in particular, find the temperature reading 5 minutes after the thermometer is first brought into the room. The given will be summarized as T sub O is equal to 18 degrees Fahrenheit and T sub M is equal to 70 degrees. In the initial state and after a minute, the temperature of the particle raises to 31 degrees Fahrenheit. We are asked to know the resulting temperature after 5 minutes. We start with identifying the temperature reading as a function of time and by identifying the value of C. So from the initial state, with the working formula of T is equal to T sub M plus C times E raised to KT, plug the given values of 18 degrees and 70 degrees with time equal to 0. Again, E raised to 0 will be 1, so C is simplified as negative 52 degrees. So the partially modified equation is T is equal to 70 degrees less 52 degrees times E raised to KT. Now take the other situation, which is taken after a minute of exposure, giving 31 degrees. So 31 degrees less 70 degrees will be negative 39 degrees, and this is equated to negative 52 degrees times E raised to K times T, which is 1. Then take negative 52 degrees to the other side to get 0 0.75 is equal to E raised to K. With E still in the equation, multiply everything by ln to cancel out E, so K is ln of 0 0.75, which is taken as negative 0 0.287682. Thus, the complete particular equation of the temperature reading as a function of time is T is equal to 70 degrees less 52 degrees times E raised to negative 0 0.287682 times T. Then use the particular solution to take the temperature of the particle after 5 minutes, where T will be replaced by 5, and T will be computed as 57.66 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm.